Closing arguments today in the trial of a Rochester police officer accused of assault. Prosecutors say Officer Michael Sippel beat up Christopher Pate while attempting to take Pate into custody. Police say Sippel mistakenly thought Pate was a burglary suspect. As Kayla Green reports, his police body camera footage played a huge role in this trial from beginning to end. You will see that after this trial video, started with the prosecutor Michael saying Sippel no one is above the law. Team. Today, both sides echoed that in their closing arguments. That a person may not use physical force to resist an arrest, whether authorized or unauthorized. This isn't about ID or jaywalking or wanted packages. This is about a man, the defendant, Michael Sippel, who didn't like Christopher Pate's attitude. The main issue of this case boils down to this. Did Officer Sippel have the right to approach and arrest Christopher Pate? Sippel's attorney says he did because Sippel thought he was dealing with wanted man James Barrett. The prosecutor referred the judge to the body cam footage, saying Pate isn't told he's under arrest until after he hits the ground. The law clearly states that officers are allowed to use physical force to effect an arrest or to prevent the escape from custody or in self-defense. The video shows Christopher Pate never engaged in any assaultive behavior. He never punched, he never kicked, or in any other way threatened the defendant or Officer McAvoy. Pate testified last week that he showed ID to another officer and Sipple still followed him. Sybil's attorney told us the worst case scenario for his client if found guilty would be losing his job as a Rochester police officer. He says Sybil is nervously awaiting the decision. Maureen. Thank you, Kayla. The judge hearing this trial said today he hopes to reach a decision soon and will be back in court next Tuesday morning.